Hey, what's up? I'm Colin, and I guess I'm gonna show you my pedal board. These are secrets, so don't tell anybody. Starts up here with the tuner. I just use like a typical blues driver. It's not modded or anything. It's just, uh, I find it to be really reliable. It does exactly what I need it to do, which is essentially provide a little overdrive. If I have a clean signal and I put this on, it'll dirty it up, but like not, it's more of a thin gain in that way. Um, I basically rely on Marshall amp distortion for my main, like, you know, dirty, clean back and forth. And then if I put that on, on top of the regular distortion, it just adds like a really nice, like cut, cut through like a, a high end kind of game. So I'll use that for leads and stuff. The Harmonist, I mostly use, at least on this tour, I use it a lot on, uh, basically on like a low octave. If I'm doing more like plucking, that's um, essentially, you know, a very thin sound. If I put the Harmonist on it on the low octave setting, it starts to fill it out more. Uh, the Super Octave, again, I use that as a low octave. Pitch Shifter Delay uh, is often this very strange, uh, I guess you could say it's kind of like a crystally effect that I have, like a crystal forming uh, infinite <laughs> pattern that I just put down extremely low. But again, it adds that extra stuff happening. If I want to add some movement to a part and you know make it feel layered, I'll throw that in. This is kind of probably my secret weapon. That's this, the Super Shifter. And I have it set on a, like a pitch bend, which is essentially always going up an octave or um, I guess going to like a seventh sometimes. I use that a lot as an effect for big dramatic parts. So you'll hear like, it's kind of like a whammy pedal, but it, it's a lot smoother than like a Digitech whammy. That's why I like it a lot. This Walrus, I literally only use it at two parts. Um, it's, it's a Julia pedal. It's, uh, it's just a really awesome uh, chorus slash, uh, I guess it's like a chorus flange. Um, yeah, it's just really nice. I don't know. I, I could easily get that probably in this uh, line six, but it wouldn't sound as good. And I really like Walrus a lot. So I'm just happy to have one of their pedals on my board. The DE7 Ibanez, probably like the cheapest pedal on my board but probably the most important. I have two of them, as you can see. I have one set to the delay setting, one to the echo. I use the one on the echo a lot just for transition parts um, and for like sound effect kind of uh, parts. I basically ripped that off of Dredge. Mark Engels of Dredge constantly uses that to make this wild like echo feedback, um, but he uses it rhythmically. I just find that there's such a cool pedal. You can make so many different um, sounds with it. I think there's a lot of pedals like that. People are like always chasing what's new and whatever, but you can find pedals for like really cheap use that have a lot of charm and interesting characteristics. From there, that basically takes us to the Lion 6 pod, which is very old. Uh, so old that Dustin from Thrice straight up made fun of me for using it because it's like, at this point, practically vintage. <laughs> Um, it's extremely hard to program. It's not, it's like very clunky. I basically, if I want to change patches, I have to like, like find a patch that I already have and then bounce a patch to that one temporarily and then bounce it back to make room. It's very archaic and caveman-like, but I fear change. So that's why I've stuck to this. Then this is a new addition, the Electro Harmonics Looper 720. Last night was probably the first time it's failed me, and that was my fault. I essentially um, kicked it off of a, a different mode. I'm not that experienced with it yet, so I didn't know that was happening, and I went, when I went to click on a loop, it was completely not the right loop. Um, so it was a little panic, but essentially, you're just showing people that you're actually playing music when you fuck up, so it's all good. Um, yeah, and then everything kind of all flows into the Holy Grail Nano. That's the last stop on the train. Just uh, usually pretty much just set on the spring reverb setting, which I think is just like probably my favorite reverb ever. Just the Holy Grail spring is just so nice sounding and 
you can make a lot of noise with it and use that that spring noise that it has is just like it's probably one of my staple sounds like i use it constantly um i'll do a lot of like fret noise with it and it just sounds really cool so yeah that's my pedal board <laughs>